we're back. Another week. Boring. For, wait, is the first episode since the new year? Yes. First episode of 2020, so yes. this is the third year, I guess, third year of our podcast. You know, we've only been going for just over a year. We started at the end of 2018. That's kind of crazy, man. Yeah, it's absolutely. Um, yeah, so there's no fights that happened this weekend and not much going on this weekend. So it's going to be mostly some headlines, some fan questions, and then just a couple of fight answers. Um, Logan Paul. What about him? I guess he's doing an MMA debut. Okay. Who so, cares? I mean... We'll, we'll get followers, I guess. Again. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, give him a can, I guess, obviously. Okay, so... KSI yeah. versus Logan Paul? Don't know. No, no, no. So, as you guys know, Logan Paul made his um, professional professional boxing debut in 2019 against KSI in the rematch they had uh, an amateur fight back I think it was 2018 mm-hmm. um, and he's he's a high school wrestler so he wants to kind of use that and go into MMA mm-hmm. I haven't heard Dana White talk anything about it I haven't heard Scott Coker mm-hmm. what do you think do you think where do you think he ends up Jeez, I don't see him ending up anywhere besides like Risen or something. It sounds like no, he's definitely not going to Asia, bro. He's going to be in North American market. But he's not going to be his, I, his audience is North American. He's not going overseas. But he's going to fight. I don't see them signing him. To me, it, see, it would seem more realistic as a Bellator signing. In my Absolutely. Opinion. Um, I don't even know what to say. If he him. signs, he could just take a fight under the get his foot wet. People are talking about. This, I think his name is JMX or something. Mm-hmm. Some British YouTube star that they want to see him fight. No idea who he is. You can get him to fight the Green Power Ranger. That guy's getting like old though, isn't he? It's true. Uh, there's talk of him fighting CM Punk. I mean, I never want to see CM Punk in the octagon ever again. Ever again. Don't even come close to a cage. You're not allowed to go watch fights. You're not allowed to go to the arena. You stay at home. You watch it on pay per view like the rest of us. I don't think. I think CM Punk would beat him honestly. But... No, I don't think so. Uh, I think Logan Paul's a better athlete. Bro, watch... Okay, let's be honest, man. Like, Logan Paul's hands are terrible, but CM Punk's hands? Oh, my God. At least CM Punk can take a beating. And Logan Paul's a lot bigger than CM Punk. I guess, yeah. I don't know. It's cringy. It's weird. It's a weird situation when you're talking about professional sports. It's a click, baby. But he's got the audience, so I mean, I guess if he wants to do it... Make some coin. What what do you think's a bigger... Draw Logan Paul's first MMA fight or Conor McGregor's return? Return of Conor. I don't agree with you. I don't think so. I don't know. I think Conor's gate already. What was sold. the biggest fight of 2019? And he realized that Conor's gate already broke okay. the record. Well, answer the question. What was the biggest fight of 2019? Masvidal and ADS. Nope. Logan Paul versus KSI too. That had the most views. I don't think it. But there's a different level to. Conor McGregor is a like a. He's a he's a transcendent star, but Logan Paul has more followers. It's crazy. That's like saying he'd get more than Floyd Mayweather. I'm telling you, I think Logan Paul's debut has more numbers, which I is crazy. So. I, I hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't. I'd look bad. I'd look terrible. I'd look terrible, but a lot of YouTube watchers, right? What do we got next? Uh, giving up the jo- Anthony Joshua's giving up his WBO WBO World Boxing Organization. So. Joshua has WBO, IBF, WBA, and IBO belts. Yeah. The IBF and the WBO both said he has 100 days to negotiate with their mandatory challengers. IBF's is um, Pulev. WBO's is Alexander Usyk. Um, so he'd have to fight one of them, both of them, to keep his belts. But he can't fight them both in the time frame that they're offering. So he has to pick one and then get stripped in the, for well, the other. I would one. take Usyk. So that yeah, he wants the the Usyk fight makes. How is Usyk a mandatory? Because boxing is corrupt, man. It's that's a, doesn't make sense. He's fought once, and he didn't even look great. They, apparently, the rule is if you are undisputed at oh sorry, if you hold the belt in the weight class below and you move up, you become the number one contender. But like, what about the guy that was already there that worked his way up in line? What about all those other guys that Dylan deserve White. shots? Dylan White's of the world, the Derek Jazuras of the world, uh, Joseph Parker's. These guys that have been... Povetkin, working. Hunter. Povetkin, Hunter. Like, what? Do we just forget about these guys? Just because Knowing that... Uh, didn't Hunter beat Joshua in the Olympics? No. It was... Uh, Joshua he lost to him. He lost to him. I don't, I don't know. think they fought the Olympics. They fought the Olympics. Michael Hunter. I'm pretty sure, yes. We'd have, I'll double check. I'll have to look Interesting. Uh, but, I'm pre- yeah, Joshua beat Hunter. 100%. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. But, um, so, the WBO, he's, 
looking like the belt he's going to give up because he wants the Usyk fight, but he doesn't want it right now because like Usyk isn't even like a legitimate heavyweight. He came in like two seventeen, two eighteen. He's a small mm-hmm. guy. It's not really a fair fight. Um, he's gonna probably take the pool out fight. Usyk has a following. It's crazy. I going on social media. I don't know why people Do, love him. Bro, those uh, Eastern Europeans, man. All the Russians, Ukrainians, all them, they get behind the fighters. I hate them. Okay, that's a little stand aggressive. Uh, in his man bun. Oh my god. Oh, you hate him? Like, you hate Eastern Europeans? No, 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 no. I hate the. I, I just can't stand him. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a fan at all. So, like, yeah, like I'm saying, Pulev looks to be his next opponent. Uh, and who did he fight last? Who, who did Usyk fight last? Uh, Chaz Witherspoon. Woo! And didn't look on, great. On four days' notice. Because Spung popped for Pia Peds. No shit about that. But, um, so, but yeah, he wants the pool that fight, and then he wants the winner of Wilder vs. Fury. Hopefully, they have, they'll have almost undisputed, and then they'll just fight Usyk, because Usyk will fight for the vacant WBO belt. That's just a way to get a title on. A way to get him a belt. Exactly. And he'll get. Who are they going to give him a bum fight? Who are they give who for the WBO? They'll probably give him. It, it won't be a good name. It'll be someone you've never heard of, or like some fringe contender. Klitschko. Klitschko came back. It'd be a problem for Usyk. That'd be a, that's a good. Uh, that'd be a problem. He's way too big. Yeah, and he's he's just a great man. He's not. He's only forty two. It's not for. He's not like that. Is a fight to make. Hashtag Klitschko versus Pula. Usyk. Usyk. I like it. Uh, that would be amazing. They're both Ukrainian too, so. It's up. We got some uh, nationalistic stuff going on there. Woo! What do we got next? Shout out to Tracy Cortez. Went a little off about that, eh? Next topic. What are you talking about? She's my girl. Um, we have uh, Connor's hit list. Talk about the 2020 season. So he's using this year as a season. as. As long as everything goes good, he wants three fights with no injuries. Um, it'll go that way according to plans. So he's got a Cowboy, and then after Cowboy, it's looking for Masvidal. Oh, they still be Khabib, because he's guaranteed to have a shot. No, no, no. It's going to be Cowboy, Masvidal, Usman, Khabib. That's what it's going to be. And he threw Justin Gaethje's name in the mix as well. And it's going to be likely in that order, because he wants to test the waters at 117th Cowboy. Knocks him out in the second round. Then he fights Masvidal. Tough fight, but stylistically they're gonna they're gonna stand. They're gonna mm-hmm. mix it up. He could win that fight. Yeah. Then he wants the 170 pound title. Tough fight. Tough Horrible. Fight. Usman is a monster and he's huge. Yeah. I don't like that fight for him. Not gonna happen. And then if he gets that fight, what's he gonna do? Drop down to 155 and fight another horrible stylistic matchup with Khabib? If he won all four of those fights, he'd be go. Oh, we, like we don't have to have that conversation. It is what it is. Yeah, but he's looking thick. He looks good, but do you think that he should be concerned about putting on size, or should it just be come in at what he feels comfortable at? Uh, I feel comfortable. I think he's just, yeah. I think he's just not wanting to cut. He's just putting all his training in, not worried about it. You're gonna see him weigh in about one sixty seven. I think he came in about one sixty eight against Nate, didn't he? He came in a little bit under yeah. the limit, and that fight was kind of like. He was aiming for a 155 fight, right? Mm-hmm. With uh, RDA, and then they kind of just like, okay, well, yeah, yeah. we'll score to 170. Now he's skipping time to put on some size. Yeah, but I don't think that's the option. I don't think that's the right idea. If you're naturally a smaller man, don't bulk up to the division because you're giving up your speed advantage. I think he's smart. I don't think he's as big as you think. It might have just been a picture. Yeah, they could just be lighting. You know what I mean? But that's, he isn't a cardio machine, so putting on extra weight isn't the, the right way. That's not the right You know what right? people say, though? His cardio, like, people... I think his cardio is better than a lot of people think. Like, you gotta realize, he did go five rounds, and he took some heavy shots against Nate. Those elbows in the clinch? Mm-hmm. It's in two... Nate has unreal cardio. Mm-hmm. So if he went five rounds with Nate, I don't think he has to worry about going five rounds with him. But the problems that he had with Nate, look what Masvidal did to Nate. Masvidal was getting tired, too, though. Maybe. We don't know. He, he looked good. Like, he's definitely his slowest round was the third round, but he still dominated. And that round. being said, what was Connor's best round in Khabib? The third round. There you go. That's fair. That's a good point. Hmm. Huh. So, I don't think it matters that much. I think he's worked on it a little bit. I just want to know what Connor shows up. I don't think we're ever going to see the Connor of old. No. I think that man's gone. But we'll get to it. It is what it is. I think this fight's going to be more of a fight than he thinks. I don't think it's competitive. I think no? second round, this Cowboy goes to sleep. I guess he got knocked out his first. He's been his last fight in the first round. So 
All right. right, we got some fan questions. We got a lot this week too. Yeah, starting off by uh, MMA UFC fan. Good, good shout out. Thanks for the follow on Instagram, which I finally made. Uh, so go Brad Wolf one thousand. Follow boy. Um, let's get him to a hundred. Let's get him. Let's get the boy to a hundred, please. Yeah, absolutely. Soon, soon. I would uh, really like to hear your thoughts about Logan Paul MMA thing, or the which we did go over. Covered that. Uh, and the Clarissa of Shields getting trained by John Jones. Big, big stuff. You yeah. sir. Um, I guess if you're going in MMA, there's not a better person. But that being said, just because they're training with someone who is a good fighter doesn't mean they're a great coach. So. Right. So let's take a look at historical context here. When Mayweather was going to come over to the cage and fight uh, Floyd, he was going to get Woodley. Did that make me think that Woodley was going to... Sorry, that uh, Mayweather then all of a sudden was going to win the fight? No. But did the CM Punk got trained by Woodley. But did it like spark something? I'm like, oh, wow, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. It's a little wrinkle to the game, right? You're definitely going to... You can't get much better training than the former champion and the greatest of all time. Like John Jones helping Clarissa, she's in great hands. If, mm-hmm. if John's if John can't help her out, nobody can. Her game isn't going to... She has Holly to work with as a woman, too. And um, the Karate Hottie. Cerrone. A great gym. Um, Condit. That being said, you can't learn grappling and wrestling in a training camp. Yeah. Her game plan is going to have to be based around... Purely anti wrestling and more how to defend it, defending takedowns, um, striking that will make her game a little bit diverse. So, working elbows in the clinch, knees when always sorry, when Nunes going for takedowns, gonna have to be knees, uppercuts, different things that you wouldn't have to do in a boxing match. But the footwork and size advantage that she has over Nunes is definitely something that will be interesting to watch, see in the in, uh, in mm-hmm. a mixed martial arts match because Nunes has never seen anything like that either. So, Nunes is going to get her down at some point, and she's going to wrestle her, and she's going to win the fight. But Clarissa will pose threats that Nunes has never seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, responded, okay, so we got boxing journals. That instead of, oh, it's a zero, so if you follow. What boxer is the best resume ever? Ooh. Um, There's a couple people I want to name off here. You got you know, Sugar Ray Robinson. Fought Jake Lamont like three or four times. Started off at, at welterweight. Moved up to... Middleweight held at the beat Jake Lamonta, who was the middleweight champion. Um, he's like, I think he was 100 and 0 or something before he lost. You gotta throw it Ali. Muhammad Ali fought everybody. His resume is based on Sonny Liston. He got friggin' Sonny George Foreman. Twice. Frazier three times. Yeah. George Foreman. Um, Spinks. We got it from Canada. For, what? Well, brain fart. Uh, uh, heavy head. He, Jeez, yeah, the Canadian. Chivalo. Chivalo. He, yeah. uh, Cooney. Ollie is one of the best. Uh, Floyd Mayweather's one. resume is just ridiculous. Which people hate on because they think he was opportunistic. But he world. wasn't. And he he has one of the best resumes and in combat sports. People always hate on his resume saying, he, but they just don't know welterweights at this time. And that's the whole point. Like, like let's just name a couple guys off. Cotto. Cotto. Corrales. Canelo. Gotti. De La Hoya. Zab Judah. Zab Judah. Ricky Hatton. Um, Chop Chop Corley. Robert Guerrero. Um, Juan Marquez, May Maidana, Juan Marquez, Marquez, like Alberto or uh, Andre Berto, F- uh, Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, it's crazy. It's insane. Manny Pacquiao. Oh, there we go. Another savage that Floyd fought, and another monster resume. But even without that, Manny talk like because you could say he still has a great resume. Yeah, yeah. But Manny himself also has a ridiculous resume. Uh, I'm not a fan of him, but it's, over the last couple of years, Canelo's got a pretty decent resume. Just another like, monster, monster. Yeah, there's so many because yeah. boxing's been around for so long. Like there's the history. A lot of people would say Joe Lewis, but we can't name to yeah. the point of who those people we thought were. Henry Armstrong. Go look up Henry Armstrong. The man was three weight world champion in an era. No, and defended all three at the same time in an era where there was no in between weights. Mm-hmm. Bruce was lightweight, middleweight, and uh, no, sorry, welterweight, middleweight, and light heavyweight champion at the same time. Defended all insane. Um, and then what was the next question he asked? Ricky, oh no, I'm just trying to think of uh, another one with a resume, not Ricky. Um, uh, I'll get back to that one. There was one good name on there. Uh, what MMA fighter has the best resume? This one could be hard. I think it's pretty easy. 
What is that? It's John Jones. John Jones definitely has the best resume. Yeah, out, out of everyone, it's ridiculous. It's him and Fedor. Fedor is another insane. I think Fedor is very padded by a whole bunch of prior fights, fighting a whole bunch of big Asians. He has a couple. Not a, he doesn't have a great resume, in my opinion. He's beaten Minotaro, Krokov, like they got great at the time. Like Tim Sylvia Arlovsky. Don't ever say Tim Sylvia and great. In that They're sense. both former champions in the UFC, though, and he fought them. I would like to say that Stipe is better. Krokov. Stipe is a better heavyweight resume. I. Don't even know how you're pulling that off. The, the Stipe's win over DC is amazing, but as a full body of Arlovsky over Reem, you yeah. know Santos. Arlovsky's also on Fedor's resume. I don't know Francis Ngannou. That's a big win at the time. That, that was just a huge win. That's, that's a yeah, big that's, win. I don't know. I think one is John. Jones. I think Ngannou and I don't know. I say Stipe and John Jones, but anybody and, else we can add into that conversation. Yeah. Nagano and Cormier on our resume. Okay, I, I get it. Steve yeah. has a good resume. Who else can we add into the conversation for who has the best resume? But there's just no one better than John Jones. Like, uh, newer, but shockingly, I find his resume unreal now because... I know where you're going with this. Where? Connor McGregor. No, Volkanovski. Jose Aldo, Chad Mendez, and Max Holloway. It's, that's pretty wild, but it's only one year of work, though. Let's relax. I know, but I'm saying that I said that's someone who's going mm-hmm. to. That's yeah. insane. He's, but he's not that young. He's 31 years old. That's a resume. It's a resume, but he didn't do much before that, and let's see what happens next. I'm not giving him. I'm not putting him on that pedestal with three fights. Absolutely, uh, but yeah, John Jones. I mean, you got Rampage, you got Rashad, and they're he beat him in a prime. Bell for Machida, Machida, Shogun, Thiago Santos, Alexander Gustafsson, uh, Cormier, Lionheart Smith. Do we want? Do we need to keep going? To, uh, Shogun, Glover Teixeira, like what? Every Just, one of his, he, it's insane. And he didn't back down, man. So. He fought everyone. Uh, this is a tough question, but uh, same. These like, all three questions were from Boxy Journals. Top ten or five pound for pound of all time list. Uh, uh, he's going to say BJ Penn's is the greatest of is all this time. Boxing, or MMA, UFC, okay. boxing and UFC. Jesus, um, this guy's keep making us work. We have time. All right. This is I like these talks. Uh, boxing, I, I don't think there's anyone better than Roy Jones Jr. He's the GOAT. Uh, and then I'd say Floyd Mayweather. Has, uh, these can't be... Mm-hmm. And yeah, except, so you're not putting them in the order? Except for Roy Jones. Yeah, Roy at one and then anybody else. Can uh, you're going to have to put Muhammad Ali. Okay. Uh, Joe Lewis. And this could be wrong, but I, this is what I think right now. Um, and the winner of Klitschko or, uh, Fury and, uh, well, while there was of all time, it's impressive, man. It is impressive. Are you gonna put him over Sugar Ray Robinson? Uh, I'm just hard, having a hard time thinking of a fifth one. Yeah, I mean, like best of our era. That not even yes, the winner Fury Wilder is the best heavyweight of our era. So I understand what you're saying, but all I'll, time, yeah, all time's it. tough. I wouldn't say that. Um, I can't come up with a fifth one then. So I got Roy Jones at one, um, Sugar Ray Robinson, Floyd Mayweather. Pernell Whitaker. Really? Muhammad Ali. Not Roy? Floyd? You said Floyd, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Roy, Floyd, Ray Robinson, Pernell Whitaker, Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that five. Absolutely. Um, all right. MMA. All right, we this go. is pretty. Uh, this was pretty easy. BJ Penn for you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Greg Maynard. No. No. <laughs> no Mark uh, Coleman. <laughs> uh, number one, John Jones. And then after that, the order can be a little mixed up. But GSP, uh, Demetrius Johnson, Anderson Silva, uh, Daniel Cormier. I would say the exact same, except for change out Cormier with Jose Aldo. Yeah, it's, yeah. Because Aldo's not respected. but He's not respected. It's just because he lost to Max and Cor- uh, Conor, Conor McCarter when he was a little bit long in the tooth. Uh, this is from Boxing Team. I don't get the full name. You know what it is? Boxing Team? No, that's the group chat. So that's from uh, Boxing Information. Okay. At What's, Boxing Information. At Boxing in- Information. What's more important, attacking or defense? In a, in a boxing match, what's more important, like offense or defense? You don't want, in my opinion, you don't want to defend too much because you want to keep your defense up at all times. Floyd Mayweather, Mel- Floyd Mayweather is cringing right now at that statement. I'm saying... You need a little bit of both. Like, it needs to be a middle ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of like Canelo, he'll 
block, block, block. He doesn't really win. Well, he doesn't. He's a point fight, which is a defense person, and he'll come in and he'll knock you out. Right. So there's a guy named Willie Pep who fought back. I think it was in the fifties. I could be wrong, but a long time ago, he is the only man in history to win win a round without throwing a punch. Okay, Willie Pep and Floyd Mayweather are the two best defensive fighters of all time. They are great because they just knew what you were going to do before you did it. Their instincts were amazing. If I have to teach someone, why if I had to pick something, I'd rather be great at defense because. Protect your head. You're gonna your career's gonna be longer. If you lose the fight, you're not gonna take damage. Mm-hmm. But if you're going offensively, you're gonna win a lot of fights. Like look at mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of offensively minded. Uh, Victor Ortiz is uh, comes to mind. Uh, Vitor Belfort. Guys are just crazy, wild flurries, but they also got sparked a lot of times. Absolutely. I'm training defense fast. Talking about Vitor, he's back on the juice. Going to oh, one, man. Him, let's get him and Vandalay Silva on oh. all syringe city, man. All is there. He killed Vitor. I mean, uh, Vandalay. <laughs> this will be more for you. Did you uh, see from One Two Boxing LLC? Uh, did you see the article on the zone about the bubble in boxing and boxing scene? From boxing scene, I think it was. Yeah. Um, no, I haven't read it yet. You, he kind of sent me the Coles notes, mm-hmm. me a little idea. So basically, he's just saying that the zone is put all his money into boxing so that they can. Use that to get into the North American sports scene and then basically just get out of boxing and get into more mainstream sports. But I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't really know the details. Mm-hmm. Um, it makes sense because there's no like organization for boxing. They kind of just align themselves with the promoter. Okay, uh, Eddie Hearn, you come. We're going to use all your fighters, put you on the platform. Oscar Del Hoya, too, because you got Canelo. And it's an easy way to get into the North American market. But uh, I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, did you see the article? Oh, that's the same question. Uh, from John Palvarsi. John Pav. John Palvarisi. We tried. Uh, will Wilder's career ever be the same if he loses to Fury? Absolutely not. So this whole thing, I don't know, man. It's hard to say because nobody thinks that Wilder's like this indestructible force and like no one thinks that he can't take a punt like, mm-hmm. I mean that he like he's been hurt we've seen him hurt we've seen him drop mm-hmm. um, I think he can bounce back from it I, like his whole thing is he hits hard no one's like oh my god you've seen a guy can take a he'll punt. still sell yeah I don't think that I, I don't think it's that big of a deal if he loses like, obviously he's not a champ and it sucks but he could go and probably face Joshua and win a fight against still him still sell yeah. yeah I don't think I think he can bounce back absolutely uh, not a question, but smack Brady for me. Don't smack me. Is there any interest? That was from that brown guy, by the way. Uh, Danny Berman. Is there any interest in Triple G? Canelo, you already know how I feel about this because I already have two wins for Triple G. But uh, So, yeah. There's but, more to that question. Uh, is it necessary and who would win? I do think Triple G won the first fight, definitely, yeah. which most people did. It's not even arguable. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're delusional. Get it? Do you get what I said there? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, Frank. <laughs> that was hilarious. Keep right? going, Brady. Oh, Keep died going. up a deer. Um, and your thoughts is, I don't think Triple G would beat him now, though. So, Triple G just doesn't look the same. So, so I think I had the both draws. Brady literally dies a little bit on the inside when I say that. The first fight is a draw. Watch it with me and I'll explain to you why. You don't know how to score fights. I don't want to watch that fight ever again. You can't score fights. Don't want to watch that fight ever. Um, Is there a reason for it to happen? Yes, of course there's a reason for it to happen. Uh, We have two controversial fights. A lot of people think um, Triple G won at least one of them. Uh, A lot of people are like, the second one should have been a draw. I don't don't know. You can score them how you want to score them. I can see how you score for Canelo or or Triple G. I gave him a draw. Um... Definitely should happen, but like I don't really want to see it happen because Triple G doesn't look the same, mm-hmm. and there's so many good fights for Canelo out there. It's like, do we really? Because he only fights twice a year. Do we want to use one of those time slots? On fight more, fighting anyway. an older Triple G. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fight more, but it's just not gonna happen. It's just not it's good for. It will be good for both their legacy if they don't fight again, though. Because they'll always be like, well, you know what I mean. Yeah, but Canelo's got his name on his resume. You go to Box Rec 40 years from now, everyone's like, oh, wow, Canelo beat Gennady Golovkin? Interesting. Let's watch that yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, not a fan of this question, William Turner, but uh, 
Should there be a bell awarded to fighters who avoid fighting the top dogs? So is he asking, like, should they be allowed to be champions? Like, should Spence have his titles? Is that what he's asking? He's making a joke saying they should award for, uh, like, a pussy belt. Should they? Should there be a belt awarded to fighters who avoid fighting the top dogs? Example, Errol Spence. Which Spence has not. He literally fought the WBC champion this last fight. Just saying. <laughs> I don't even know the answers. Oh, no, there shouldn't be some, like, pussy award. Let's just say they already have a pussy award. It's called the Silver. It's called the International WBC. They have way too many belts. How about we leave it as... We don't want any more belts in boxing. No. Okay. How about we take away all the belts of boxing and it would still survive? Yeah, we'll give you a little participation ribbon and we'll give, give the other guy a trophy. No more belts. We don't want any more belts. I don't think there needs to be belts of boxing. So what is it then? How do you, what's the championship, Brady? You beat, it should always, it's a better resume. Does belts matter in boxing? We need right something. Now? Give him a big check. Something. All right. Do you think Terrence Crawford is more talented by, uh, than Mayweather ever was? Who asked that, Reese? Uh, so real Reese asked, is Terrence Crawford more talented than Floyd Mayweather? You go first. Hell no. That's it? Hell no. Hell no? It's uh, irrelevant. He hasn't beat anyone. No. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh, I think there's definitely some, something to that. Well, like, look at what Floyd did at welterweight. He never not walked anybody out, never knocked anybody out. Don't tell me about Victor Ortiz, because that was that's what it is. Don't, that's not at welterweight. It's 154. Um... He does things that Floyd couldn't do, and Floyd does things that he can't do. So it's hard to say. I think... Let's get the video game from Rocky Balboa where we had... Uh, to be completely honest with you, I think I like Crawford's skill set better than I like Floyd's. Never know what that defense is. You never know. Um, you never know. Uh, Terrence Crawford is generational talent. We may never see anything like him again. Okay. Watch. Let's dropped his last fight. By who? <laughs> By who? Bro, who? Didn't your boys get pushed to the brink? By Sean Porter? He almost lost the fight. Anyway, at the end of the day, Sean Porter, that's the type of fight he does that to everyone. It yeah. makes it look like it's close How to uncomfortable it was your boy on the inside? He couldn't handle the pressure, man. At the end of the day, who's a bigger win? The eighth ranked fighter that dropped Terrence Crawford. Did, Can we did name Spence it? get dropped? I can't even think of his name. <laughs> okay, Spence beat Porter, who's mm-hmm. a top five all the way. Right. This guy beat, you know, once you get out of the top five, you're fighting cans. In a division. That's a bit of a stretch. Welterweight's a stacked division. Okay, Pulov's ranked number... Heavyweight is not the same. The okay. de- you know that. Don't even compare... With- Crawford beat someone besides someone with a glass chip. Just saying. Next. We'll fight. Uh, uh, I would like to see Keith Thurman. Versus and, uh, who? Crawford. Okay, I'll take it. But you know what's going to happen to Keith? I think... you know Butcher me. The fight I want to see, which I think to this day, he beats Vince... Crawford, anyone, right? Don't you don't. Who? If you talk about that senator from the Philippines, I swear to He's God. He's a bad matchup for anyone. Next. He what he you know it. It's true. He makes people look like he is not good. forty-one years old, five foot two, okay? <laughs> and what do you Next. Mean? He, he works at Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Next. He, he knows this truth. He makes Skittles. He knows this truth. Next. You, you're nervous when a good fighter fights against Pacquiao, just saying. Pacquiao avoided him when he when they were together on top rank five years ago. Well, that's why he's older now, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. This is getting a little out of hand because he has blue balls for Crawford. As I gave him the, and he's delusional. Um, the Siberian X, Siberian Express, bro. Express. I can't see the full name. <laughs> Why is DLA the best team? I need answers. Okay, DLA. So that is, if you guys aren't aware of the Instagram war that's going on right now, uh, you got the Siberian Express and Sensei Jake Shields. The Siberian Express is Artem Lobov, <laughs> and then Sensei Jake Shields is Jake Shields. And you, they, they drafted their militaries, and there's a fight going down. I think it's on the 18th of January. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but apparently I'm part of DLA, and I'm squaring up with uh, Wicked MMA. This is the most clout you're ever going to get in your life, Wicked. You're a minus 300 underdog. All right, you're getting this work. So apparently I'm on Team DLA. I don't know. Artem? I'm with Artem. Bare knuckle, baby. Bare knuckle. <laughs> You have to go. <laughs> uh, who does we already went over this, but I'll give you a shout out, Irish MMA guy. Who does Connor fight next if he gets past Cowboy? Do you think it's Mads at all? I think Khabib. Um what do you think of Ryan Gis- we have two more questions. What do you think of Ryan Garcia's biggest weaknesses? Okay. By Jack S Lion MMA. Shout out to Jack S Lion MMA. Because that's we'll see Jack S Lion. Jack I don't think S is his middle name. Oh, okay. Middle initial and then Lion's his nickname, I'm assuming. Okay. And he does MMA. Come on, Brady. Use your damn head. 
Um, his biggest weakness, it's hard to say because he's new. He's uh, demolishing these guys, like the demolition mm-hmm. man. Um, he's got crazy hands, he's tall and long for the division. I would say his biggest weakness right now might be his social media following because it's like. Can you not, man? Okay, sorry. Because he has all of this pressure with him already, he's like, he's just, he's got superstar following without the superstar resume or skill set. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So the pressure will get to him. That, that right now is his biggest weakness. There you go. Anything else? Uh, we do have some fights this weekend, but we're just going to say them. What do we got? We got Shields versus Habazan. On say, Friday night. Say it properly. Habazan. Yeah, Shields versus Habazan. Friday night. We can't um, even pronounce this girl's name. Clarissa Shields making her junior middleweight debut. She Ooh. started at super middleweight, then went down to middleweight. She's trying to be three weights champion. Mm. Um, she should get through it, but I think it's got it's definitely gonna be interesting because I think there'll be more eyeballs on this fight than you think because yeah. the whole Nunez talk going right now. Absolutely. Um, it'd be interesting. Maybe maybe Nunez is there scouting. Uh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jesse Hart versus Joe Smith on Saturday night. That's a war. That would um, be a good fight. That would be a great fight. Joe Smith knock, knock Bernard's face off. Yeah. Uh, Jesse Hart, his only loss is to uh, uh, the Mexican uh, super middleweight, uh, Gilberto Ramirez. Mm-hmm. Should be, they lost, he lost him twice. That should be a really fun fight. I can't stand him. Or, or yes. and, we do have uh, some fight announcements too. I like this one, but uh, Calvin Cato versus Jeremy Stevens. That's on 248, I think. Yeah, yeah. I do have a problem with it though because... Um, do they hate Jeremy Stevens or what? Exactly. I do got Cater. He's just going to unbox and do his yeah. decision. Uh, they said but it's too good for to get cl- shot with a clean. Yeah. And Jeremy Stevens is going to be on a four fight lose if he loses this. All those would be uh, Yair Cater. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They don't. They're not doing any favors. No. And uh, he was in all those fights. Though. Exactly. Like they're all tough fights. But you can't exactly. But, like, could we give him an easy matchup? Like he's helping you out, mo- putting these. Young guys up. He's moving these guys on. His record sucks, but he's fought like great. Everyone. That's a guy whose resume we could. That resume is ridiculous. Jeremy Stevens' resume. He's, he's fought, fought everyone from lightweight in. Didn't he fight BJ Penn? Am I tripping? I feel like he fought BJ he, Penn. He fought Sam Stout. Okay. But yeah, Jeremy Stevens, bro. Like he fought Pettis. How do you he's not decision. respect that man? Absolutely. And he's. I thought he won. I forget what fight. He would have won the year. Yes, yeah, so he would have fought the fight. Yeah. Uh, but I do like this fight too. Two jujitsu guys, Damian Maya versus Gilbert Burns, but we know who's going to be the better. Maya gets his neck, yeah. takes him out probably first Pumps round. Him for, for, on from his back, blah, blah, blah. You know, rinse, repeat. Can they come in with geese and just start on their back? Like, I don't even want. I really don't need to see the stand up no, Damian Maya. No, we don't need that. Uh, Joe Joyce versus Daniel Dubois. Okay, so Joe Joyce versus Daniel Dubois is this close to being signed, so we're going to talk about it because it's probably going to be done by the time this comes mm-hmm. out. Um,. Two stiff, big idiots that throw heavy shots. Um, neither is really tested. Joe Joyce has demolished everybody at the British level. Um, du- uh, sorry, Dubois demolished everybody at the British level. Joe Joyce has fought some like past their prime guys like Brian Jennings and uh, Stavern. And he did what he's supposed to do with them. But... It's going to be interesting to see how these guys go because they're just two stiff idiots that just throw heavy shots. Absolutely. Somebody's getting just flat Without. lined. Without. Well, I think that's it for this weekend. Anything uh, else you want to add? Uh, there was some PFL finals this weekend, but it was a whole bunch of them. Did Kayla Harrison Kayla win? Kayla Harrison was a millionaire. We got Lance Palmer as a millionaire. Uh, and Roy, Rory McDonald's a soon-to-be millionaire. Yeah, soon-to-be millionaire. He probably already is, though. So. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty... Man. It's on New Year's Eve. That's kind of cool. Yeah, kind, kind of, of weird. Kind of weird on Thursday. Yeah. But it is what it is. Anything else you want to add? Uh, go follow my Instagram. How many more followers? 100. Let's, next week. Let's get to 100 by next week. It's right. doable. Come on. Show some love. All right, guys. See you. Well. Bye.